YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Once again, guys, thank you for your support. Uh, if you are new to my channel and are looking for defensive and offensive tips to take your game to the next level, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. This is Prometheus, once again, uh, the only YouTuber that shows full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Also, I'll be highlighting some other YouTube channels to help support the community. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe uh, where I'm going to be, be giving uh, uh, basically weekly tips on one of the best tips in Madden uh, every week. Uh, so uh, I want to talk about uh, basically an offensive scheme, um, which is really hard to stop. And it's a base play, which is called levels. Now, if you guys have seen levels before, uh, it is a, a very hard play to stop. It's a play that's been getting spammed. Uh, for four or five years now. Um, it's It's been around for a long time, and it's got some really hard concepts to stop. So uh, levels Y corner is the play that we're going to be looking at. And I'm going to be looking at it from um, from a defensive standpoint on a, a defense that I feel like can really slow this play down and cause a lot of problems for your opponent because what they're looking for is uh, something you're going to basically take away their reads. So I want to show, this, show you a defensive scheme to help you slow it down. It also does... Uh, uh, stop a lot of other plays uh, but it gives you a nice base play to go ahead and use against your opponent if, if he starts spamming levels against you uh, and you have this setup is fairly simple to, to, to use now from a concept it's gonna be a cover three shell um, but you could find similar plays like this uh, basically in any kind of uh, playbook the, the key to this particular concept is making sure that you have a, a yellow in the middle with your defensive uh, linebacker and then you have on the edges of your defensive line you've got purple zones that's the key to this now I like to run this flipped uh, to basically the blitzing um, uh, corner or the safety. The blitzing safety is going to be where the tight end and the uh, running back are going to be at uh, the, with the levels concept out of the trips formation. So I'm going to go into my coaching adjustments and instead of running a baseline, which is very common for me, I'm going to run man line because this is going to go ahead and mess up your opponent's reads. The other adjustment we're going to do is we're going to take our curl flats, our purple, uh, purple zones, and put them at 20 yards depth. And then our hook zones are going to put at 10 yards depth. You can also do it at 5 but I like 10 just because they get a little bit deeper out there to take away the next level of, of this uh, next level of this level's concept. All right, so as you can see right here, uh, basically my safety is going to be my user, and he comes rolling down automatically for me. So the first adjustment I'm going to do to set this defense up is I'm going to go ahead and show blitz by hitting the wire triangle button and hit flipping my left stick to the left. Now this is going to go ahead and take your deep third from one safety and pull him over to the other side. Now it's critical that you, you pay attention to that. You know that you have a weakness where there's going to be an open area of the field off to the right, and you need to compensate that with your user just so you don't get beat over the top with a streak with the tight end or some kind of an adjustment. The next adjustment we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our uh, our, our uh, purple zones, which are the seam flats. We're going to turn those into cloud flats. So we're going to hit a triangle or Y button, do underneath coverage, and then we're going to go ahead and take it from a hard flat to a triangle or Y button and then f uh, flip over the top, and it's gonna turn it into cloud flats. There's a huge difference between cloud flats and hard flats. Those cloud flats will actually get a little bit more depth. They're gonna, they're gonna be forced to play the sidelines, and this is gonna essentially take away um, any kind of um, quick adjustments your opponent's gonna do. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our inside linebacker, which is gonna be the, uh, the right of screen inside linebacker X, and I'm gonna go ahead and take him and I'm gonna put him in a curl flat by, by hitting the left uh, the left stick off to the curl flat. That's going to be a purple zone. And then the final adjustment is I'm going to take my defensive end, which is going to be on the right side of the screen, which is going to be square. We're going to put him into a basically a vert hook. Now, my goal is to just basically go ahead and fill in the gaps against my opponent. My first goal essentially is to go ahead and watch the tight end and make sure he doesn't streak. Because essentially if he streaks this defender right here that I'm rolling over to is nowhere. This, he's not going to be able to get there in time. So I want to go ahead and pretend the streak first. I'm not worried about the running back route. I've got two defenders who are going to play that. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I go ahead and cover the streak. The next thing I'm going to do is that once I see the guy breaking off into a, into a zone area, I'm going to come down and just try to clean up any kind of crossers over the middle. But what you're going to see 
what you're going to see is basically this is going to get all my guys in, in, in all clouded up into zones. Now, of course, we're, we're running this stock. Most players online don't run it on stock. But what they're going to do first is they're going to go ahead and look to this flat corner route concept. So I'm actually using in a way a, a quick shot with the flat. And you can see because of this depth, this guy's going to take away this corner route. And the flat route right here with this guy is going to come down and take away the flat route. So those two routes essentially are dead. And then what's going to happen is this guy's coming across the field and he's playing a deep third. So if he tries to go ahead and throw it up or something like that, you're actually you're kind of in bracketed coverage. So that's going to be, that's going to be a very tricky play for your opponent that, to actually go ahead and try to squeeze it in. And then this is going to go ahead and basically think that that might be man coverage. Now, let's go and take a look at the action off the left-hand side. The best read on this figure play is this quick end right now. But that is going into a passing lane because essentially we've got these two guys right here. This guy's going to fall back out and actually clear the zone. Uh, and then basically these guys, these guys right here are just going to clog up that levels concept. And I'm going to go ahead and carry... Uh, until these guys until he gets into the zone areas right here now this guy this this wide receiver actually sticks right here So that's going to be the wait late progression read But I assure you most Madden players are not going to see that not going to be patient enough to do that Especially when they get some kind of block shed action now. I'm only sending two people So this is a very max coverage type of situation but if you blend this in with a blitz, with an occasional blitz, with the same type of a look, it's going to be very frustrating and it's going to shut down a lot of their plays. Now, the one thing I have noticed is a lot of times the CPU will roll out right. I do have a very good defensive end on, that, on the right side, which is Bosa. So that might be causing him to roll out. But for the most part... It's going to force him to throw into user territory unless he makes some kind of adjustment. Now, I actually lab this play um, against basically all the other uh, the other plays in this formation, this gun trips tight end offset out of the the Packers playbook, and it does a really good job of actually causing these plays to get shut down. So that's what I do like about it. So this is a random play. I don't know what the CPU is going to do. And it comes with uh, a nice little run right there, and I stopped that for a couple yards. Got the play set up once again. Little play action, crossers, and you can see if he goes in and drops it down to underneath, you're going to be able to shut that off. So this is actually a really good base play to use against your opponent. Um, and you can adjust from there. For instance, you can run into, you can jump into a man defense of this. Especially if he likes to run the ball. So you use this as your base play uh, against people who like to run these trip sets. And then you can just jump into other plays to go ahead and just cause them some problems. So that's what I do like about it. Uh, it's going to uh, basically kind of stay, take away, uh, you know, that money play, which is levels. And it's going to take away a lot of other plays, too. And it's just going to force them to make reads. Once again, your responsibility is just to make sure he doesn't streak up a guy this tight end. Uh, and play the seam and just let all your defenders fall into their zone. So once again, guys, if you like these type of tips, go ahead and smash that like button. And I'll be rolling out more offensive defensive tips to take your game to the next level. So thank you for your support and until next time.